Techie. So what happened last <coughs> night uh, was I went with some friends to a club and we were supposed to see 50 Cent perform. Mm. Uh, turns out it was his birthday. Wait, so wait, wait, hang on. It's 50 Cent's birthday? 50 Cent's birthday. Oh, wow. It was well, last night. It's like bobblehead night at the Dodger Stadium. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Basically. Um, <laughs> and so we got to the club and there's this like DJ, like whoever was like, you know, opening for him was playing. Mm-hmm. And then finally at like, 1250 50 cent walks on stage and i have never seen someone so visibly drunk <laughs> like he was just like barely Christ. his eyes were barely open he was just like he's been shot nine times <laughs> yeah it like, has yeah. a lasting effect on people i hear he got rich and he did not die trying like he made it um so he comes <laughs> on stage Jesus. Yeah. he uh, he comes on stage somebody and he's just standing there staring out at the crowd kind of swaying and then someone hands him an open or like a champagne bottle, so he like pops it and kind of sprays the crowd a little bit with it. Right. Then he just walked off stage and out of everyone's life, like that was it. He just n- never came back out on stage. Didn't play. Anything. No, not a single song. And they just like had to keep telling like the DJ who was opening for him, like, keep going, like he's not, like we can't get him. And then, <laughs> so she just had to be like. It's 50s birth. We're here for 50s birthday. Like, woo woo. Like, <laughs> like, like, to the point where, like, she started playing 50 Cent songs. So, like, that's how bad she was like, I can't let these people down. Like, they came to see 50 Cent and he's too drunk. And everyone around us was so upset. And I was just laughing. Like, I could not believe it. I want this podcast to get so big that I could put so little effort into it where I ultimately don't even do a podcast and people love me for it. That's kind of where he's at. Yeah, because oh, I God. I still like mad respect. I was all I could do was think it was like the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Like he got paid thirty twenty five thousand dollars. I think I was told that's how much he was getting paid. It's like twenty five thousand dollars. That's it. Just a spray print or champagne. okay, yeah. But all he had, he was only scheduled for an hour set, and he gets like I'm pretty sure they get like free alcohol. He, like he has his own champagne brand, so they're supposed to like push it, and. That's it. He he literally just went there, sprayed some champagne on people, and then he he left. <laughs> and people were like so upset, and I was just I just thought it was like hilarious, and because I've been in the situations where like it's my birthday, I'm just getting wrecked. And that's, <laughs> what, that's what he did, despite the fact that his responsibilities far outscaled mine. I'm not getting paid twenty five thousand dollars. Crowd of people waiting for you to deliver. For specifically you. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm getting hammered. Yeah. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so uh, I just thought that was like the funniest thing. I've been laughing about it all day. Question is though, did you actually have to pay to get inside? No, I think that oh, was why God. everyone oh, else was okay. so thank, butthurt. Thank all God, right. I'm sure everyone <laughs> you else paid was so for him. To, I thought he was like headlining. You paid to go see Fifty Cent. Oh no, I. I well, oh. technically, a lot of people did though. One of the people that I went with, she's like the event manager at that club, and so she. What's just, her name? Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. She just like got oh. us in for free, and then uh, we got to just watch Fifty Cent. Spray champagne on people and then <laughs> dip. <laughs> like so this isn't the fucking Indy 500, okay? <laughs> Get back out there and perform. <laughs> yeah, basically. And everyone was just like, it was funny because like the later the night got, the angrier everyone around us was getting. They were just like, what the hell? Like, we well, can't we see 50? Where is he? Like, <laughs> is, is he backstage still? And I, I don't like even know if he was. I feel like I just wish that they had just dragged him, even if he was passed out, and just dumped him over the DJ thing. Like everyone would have been more happy with that than what we got. The funny thing is, if you were to say, "Okay, Stephen, let me paint you a picture. I need you to do the accident," I'm like, and I'm like in the middle of something, I'm like, oh, "Okay," and you're like, "You're at a fifty cent deal," and he comes out and like doesn't even really play. He just sprays people with champagne. Like you're then you're in the crowd and you're upset. I would do that exactly. Like, what the hell? Like, where's 50 Cent? Like, where the hell is he at? The exact, that is so universal. Every single person in that crowd sounded exactly like that. Yeah, it was like that little slow, kind of lower tone voice is like the just like upset and confused <laughs> voice. Yes. How much did people actually pay for tickets? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I have VIP access. Because oh, I'm I'll tell you right now, it's too much. Yeah, it probably. Too much. It, it was probably. I mean, let's, let's just be real with ourselves. How much would you guys pay to see 50 Cent? Um, Zero. He's oh. not a big fan. I'm a huge fan. I'm not into that kind of music. If I had to guess, I mean, but I it's fitty. It's motherfucking fitty. Yeah, I'm just I've, saying. I've never met him. He's never done anything for me. <laughs> I don't. Last hey, song uh, I think I heard from him, like from beginning to end, was when uh, the candy shop bullshit. I'm getting a blowjob. I'm writing a song about it. <laughs> that song came out. Yeah, and everybody's like, he's the next Led Zeppelin, and I what? literally what? <laughs> rolled the revolver. 
and swallowed it, and I'm a lucky guy. Uh, <laughs> David just actually, goes. Actually, well, <clears throat> no. Speaking of next Led Zeppelin, there's this new band that just came out called Greta Von Van Fleet. Greta oh, Van they're Fleet. sick. Yeah, dude, they, they sound are like really exactly, good. like almost exactly like Led Zeppelin. I definitely recommend looking into them. Yeah. K Rock played a song, and I didn't hear the band, and I thought I was like, this is, sounds like Led Zeppelin. Probably that. It might be. They just released like their debut album, like a few, uh, like very recently. Yeah, and dude. It's like really good, and I, so you know, hyping them up for free uh, advertising. <laughs> but speaking of next.